Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 16, Introduction to IoT, dealing with types of virtualization. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Now, we have seen in the previous video, we have seen about what is virtualization, why virtualization is being used and how the resources is allocated with the help of virtualization. Now, in this video, we are going to see about the types of virtualization. Basically, the type of virtualization is divided into four types. Hardware, so storage, application and desktop virtualization. Now, getting to know about brief about all these types. Come, here you have hardware virtualization. So now, in, in this diagram, you can interpret something. That is, there is a... Uh, uh, big storage devices from where the humans are working such that it is built completely. Now, in this hardware virtualization, what happens is the hardware resources is shared among the multiple user. Say, suppose you can assume that this is a storage device. So, this storage device is used by multiple users to store their data in a particular place. So, for example, I can give you a processor where many different processors are, are available in the cloud computing architecture, that is your IoT architecture, where IoT doesn't mean uh, stick to a one only one processor. It has n number of processors designed so that it uh, allocates the resources with the help of virtualization based on the end user needs. Now, in this hardware virtualization, what happens is different OS will be installed for all the processor based on the demand of the end user. And each of that operating system, we will tell it as a standalone machine. It doesn't need any support or any other thing from the external use. It, it is a standalone machine. So, simply to tell as the word hardware virtualization tells us sharing of resources. What resources? Hardware resources by multiple users. Right. So, next, storage virtualization. So, storage is nothing but you are storing some data into a cloud. Now, in the storage virtualization, what happens is you will have n number of spaces to store the data. Whether it is a uh, only one uh, small part of data or enormous part of data. Now, after storing this data at different space, all these data are accumulated virtually into a one storage location. So, that is this. So, it is nothing but I am storing one data here and another person is storing a data here. So, like this n number of persons are storing a data at different places. Now, all these data are maintained at one place called as storage database. So, that storage database will be having all the data stored by different people. Now, using the storage virtualization, what happens is the end user's file, whatever it is stored, it will be in different location like it will be distributed all through the space storage space say suppose i am storing a data i will be assigned with a particular place where i can store different files and different files will have different storage area and the user here what uh, the they will do is once it is stored in a particular place that particular place will be completely dedicated to that end user you, you cannot use the uh, complete storage space. Once it is allocated for you, in that uh, space, you can keep loading your data. It is just like a Google Drive, how it works. How it works. You, have, you, you will have your own created Google Drive, wherein you can store data. So, in particular, in that particular drive, you can keep storing the data. And next is desktop virtualization. So, desktop virtualization is nothing but it will be allowing the user to access and utilize the resources that is available in that particular desktop. So, when you are reaching office, you have your own desktop. So, in that desktop, whatever application is stored, you, you, the, you are able to access and utilize that services. So, all, all those data available in that desktop will also be available in the cloud. So, 
wherever you are it is not that it you should be sitting at that office place wherever you are you can have your own desktop and keep accessing the data which is already stored in the cloud that is called as desktop virtualization then next is application virtualization so here what happens is complete application will be stored at the cloud see suppose see here you have different clients you have a application server you have mail all those attachments which is sent through the mail you have firewall where those contents are available in the application server now this client will be using the application in their computer without installing any uh, any particular application to take that data because it is available in the cloud there is no need of particularly download, downloading a software or application to access the data okay so the user will be storing all the data in their local computers and they can take out all the data from the local computers without installing any particular application or software so that is called as application virtualization so now you have seen about all the four types of virtualization please stay tuned for more information thank you